God bless you. This is Dr. Kevin Jackson. I want to thank you for joining me for ministry moments in a time of intercession. As you know, we have been meeting the entire year in 2021 on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And what a joy it has been sharing with you as we pray and intercede, asking God to intervene based on the different prayer focuses that we share with you. I want you to know that I am grateful to the Lord that you have partnered with me in that endeavor. On today, our prayer focus is Lord, transform the church. As you know, we have been in a series entitled Transformation. And so our teachings on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time, our time of the word, centers around transformation, Acts chapter nine. And our times of prayer have centered around transformation as well. In fact, last week we prayed, Lord, transform the world. Tonight, I want to share with you from Ephesians 4, 11 to 13 as our anchor text as we prepare to pray. And as you are coming in, let me know that you are here. Let me know where you are viewing from and invite others to join us on tonight. If you're watching this in the replay, I pray that you are blessed. I look forward to reading your comments and the prayer uh, statements and requests that you place in the comment section. Ephesians 4, 11 through 13, the English Standard Version of the Bible says, so Christ gave himself the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. It is our desire that we transform. When we speak of the church, we're not talking about a building. We're talking about the ecclesia, the called out ones. That's you, that's me. We are the church and it is inclusive of all believers. And so we're asking the Lord tonight to transform the church. Why don't you take a moment there and just begin to worship the Lord, gather your thoughts as we prepare to pray. Father, we love you today. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify your name. We, your people, have gathered on this platform that we may intercede and ask that you transform the church in all of its places that it is located, all of its people of every color, every ethnic background, every section of the body of Christ. We're praying God, that you will transform the church, church of the living God, the church that Christ established. So God, we pray that the gifts that you gave to the body, hallelujah, that the apostles and prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers will get in position and move with tenacity as it relates to the agenda of the kingdom that you are setting. Father, we know that you do not work on a timetable. You don't work by calendar days. And so, Father, we're praying in the name of Jesus that you will speak to your people the gifts of the body of Christ. We pray, God, and call forth the apostolic leaders that they will have the opportunity to recalibrate and redesign vision and mission to reach the current circumstances of society and even the members of their churches and their institutions and organizations. We're praying, God, you will speak to apostolic leaders. They will not be lost in time, but they indeed will be uh, in the same mindset as you are for your people. And we thank you, Lord. We are praying, God, that you will lift up legitimate prophets who speak divine utterances for you, those who hear from you. 
those who obey you, those who respect you, those who live a life that you are willing to release prophetic word through. God, we are lifting up those prophets. And God, we're asking that you will transform this particular gift to the body, uh, that it will not be a money venture to prophesy, but it will be a venture to say what thus says the Lord. And we pray, God, that what they say is directly from you. And when you do not speak, that they will be silent or in a place seeking your face, trying to determine what you are saying to the church in this hour. And so, God, we are praying that you lift up these legitimate prophets, lift up these men and women of God who have the people of God at best interest as they listen to you, hallelujah, and point the people towards the direction that you have established. And at the same time, God, we're praying that you will transform the church by removing every false prophet every person that calls himself a prophet, yet they are only in this uh, opportunity to profit. We are praying right now, God, that you will shut it down so that the people will not be hurt, so that the people will not be robbed, so that the people will not be confused. God, transform the church uh, so that we're not so dramatized, so that we're not so tied up in different things of society that has nothing to do with your word, your will, and your way, that we do not allow things that are ungodly to be able to prevail in the church of God just because we see it on television or we hear it on the radio or we listen to it on a podcast. Father, change, transform the church so that the gifts that you've given to the body, hallelujah, will not be infiltrated by false information, by information that comes from the pit, by information that is humanistic and worldly. We're praying, God, that you will reignite the hearts of evangelists to pursue preaching the gospel, that men and women, boys and girls may come to you and yield their lives in the name of the Lord. God, I'm praying that you will transform evangelists, that they will see an opportunity to spread the word, even if it's not in the context that they are accustomed to. But God, I'm praying that you will transform their thinking and mindset, that they'll be able to utilize the platform, social media, online, effectively for the kingdom of God, to reach those who will never step foot in the church, who will never be able to witness to on the streets. But they are available, hallelujah, and touchable through social media media means. And I thank you for it right now, oh God. Teach those evangelists. Teach us all how to season our words. Teach us all how to reach out to those who do not know you in the name of the Lord. Father, I'm praying that you will reinvigorate the church's hunger and desire to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Help us, God, not to get caught up in so many side things, but help us to keep what is important, important. Help us, oh God, to look for ways to reach people in our home, in our family, in our community, on our job, in the marketplace, wherever we may be, that we may share the gospel of Jesus Christ, share our story of how you transformed us, changed us, renewed us, empowered us, and delivered us. God, transform the church so that we're not lackadaisical, so that we're not sitting back, that we're not just immobile, but that we are moving and we're moving in a direction that you would have us to be in. Give us that desire. Give us that hunger to share your word. Oh God, in the name of the Lord, even in the time of a pandemic, this is a time that you've given us that the ears of the people are open and help us, God, not to miss opportunities. Hallelujah. To sow a seed of the gospel in the hearts of your people. Father, transform Transform the church. Transform the church, God, from a surface level to a kingdom-centered mindset. God, that we are in step with you, that we know which direction you are going because we've spent time with you. We've spent time in your presence and our 
ears, our spiritual ears are open to hear what you are saying. Help us not to get caught up in slogans, oh God, but help us to hear, hallelujah, a legitimate word from you that is a direction for your people as we enter into this new year. God, with all problems and all situations, help us not to be tricked that things are going to change overnight because of the striking of midnight in a new year, but help us, oh God, to be prepared for the new challenges that will materialize, for the new opposition that will come in the name of the Lord. Help us not to be chilled. Help us not to be laid back, but help us to be a vibrant church in the name of the Lord, a church of the living God. And we thank you for it, oh God. God, help the church to grieve through the days of old in the name of the Lord. Transform this morning, church, the people of God that are mourning old times, crying about old times, desiring old times, Help the church grieve and grieve well to let go of that which was so that the church can grab to that which shall be and is. We thank you for it right now, God. Help the church grieve well. Help the church navigate the times of mourning well in the name of the Lord. Lord, transform us so that we're not grieving so much that we cannot do the work of the ministry, the work of the kingdom in the name of the Lord. Lord, help each individual church know its assignment in the kingdom of God. Transform the church so much so that it is not aware of what its assignment is, but transform it into a posture that every house of God that names the name of Christ, that represents you, will know its divine mission and assignment in the name of the Lord. God, there are those that you've given specific directives, those that you've given specific giftings to be able to interact in the systems of the world. And then there are others that are in practical senses. Help us to stay in our lane. Help us, oh God, that even though we may have specialties, but transform our thinking so that we all understand that every church is missional. Every church is evangelistic. Every church has a responsibility to go there for, hallelujah, and preach the gospel. We thank you for it right now, Lord. God, thank you right now that you will transform your people's, hallelujah, desire to hang on to a building and a place. God, you taught us even during this time of pandemic, you're everywhere, you're ever present, God, and you will commune with us wherever we will lift our hands up, wherever we will invoke your presence. So help us, oh God, transform the church's love from those material things to a relationship with you, to a desire to be in your presence anywhere, to hear your voice, to feel your spirit, to feel your prompting in the name of the Lord. God, help the church learn how to navigate the issues of social justice. Transform the church, oh God. There are those who see evil but will not address it. But God, we're praying right now that you will transform the mindset of the church, that when there are social justice issues, that the church has a role, even if it's nothing but to pray, but to vote, to do the practical things as a citizen in the name of the Lord. Help the church navigate those issues. And God, help churches, oh God, and the people of God not become so infused with social justice that there is no message of the cross. There is no message of the gospel in the name of the Lord. Transform, glory to God. God. Every church, every leader that is confused, hallelujah, and have emerged themselves in social justice at the default of leaving the gospel out, hallelujah, help them, oh God, in how to make, hallelujah, social justice 
a component of ministry, but keeping salvation, number one, keeping evangelism, number one, keeping the people, hallelujah, number one. We thank you for it right now. God, transform every house of of God that is meeting, whether it's virtual or on site, that it is a relational place, a missional place in the name of the Lord, not a social gathering, not a place like a club, but a place where we come, hallelujah, to establish bona fide and authentic relationships in the name of the Lord on all generational levels. God, I'm praying that you will transform the church where it will see the value of every generation and every generation's need. We're praying in the name of God, Lord, that you will do that for the body of Christ, that you will transform churches that are only focused on one generation, but help us, oh God, in the universal church to understand, hallelujah, legacy is in the youth, those that are growing, and help us, God, to invest in their lives. In the name of the Lord, God, transform intercessors and prayer warriors. Uh, God, those that are asleep, those that are slumbering, those that are only praying for prosperity, but God put us back on the wall, the wall of warfare, of observing, keeping a watchful eye that we may be prepared, hallelujah, to fight spiritually. So God, I'm praying that you will cause intercessors and prayer warriors to dig deep in their spirituality, deep in the Holy Ghost that they will begin to pray, hallelujah, without ceasing. Help us, oh God, to plan well, strategize well, fight well, and endure. Help us not to give up and give in, to shrink back and turn back, but help us to stand flat-footed against the enemy and declare, Satan, the Lord rebuke you and the blood of Jesus is against you. Help us to fight the enemy with the word of God and the spirit of your God and your wisdom. God transform the church. Lord, transform preachers in this new era of prophetic preaching. God, that we're not preaching Sunday school lessons, but that we will take advantage of every moment that we have to deliver a word to your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that every message is prepared, every message is anointed, and it is covered with the blood, that every message comes directly from you, every message being inspirational, every message being accurate, because the preacher has done due diligence with homiletics in the name of the Lord. God, and every message is, re is relevant. We thank you for it right now. Transform preachers, oh God. Help us to get our minds off of cars and clothes and jewelry. Help us to focus on the kingdom agenda. And if we don't know the kingdom agenda, oh God, reveal it to us in the name of the Lord. Father, we're praying that you transform the church to focus on young adults. Help us, God, to give them a sense of belonging. Help us, God, not to speak down on them. Help us, God, to create opportunities for ministry and leadership. Help us, God, to nurture their gifts and to collaborate with them, to speak with them, learn from them, respect them. Oh God, we thank you for it right now. Transform the church, God, so that there is no friction between the generations. God, we thank you for it. God, help us to see the importance Hallelujah. To looking to you always. Help us not to become so business minded that we forget our God, but help us to always look to you. Help us to trust you always, to follow you, and most importantly, to obey you in the name of the Lord. Transform the church, God. Every entity, every organization that's operating in disobedience. We're praying right now, God, that you will change their hearts and turn them around, that they will come into a compliance with what you are saying for them in this hour, in the name of the Lord. God, transform the church. Help us, God, not to forget those that are hungry. Help us to feed the hungry. Help us to clothe the naked. Help us to minister to the imprisoned. Help us 
oh God, to be a voice for the voiceless in the name of the Lord. Help us, God, transform the church. Oh God, transform the church from being in love with things and not ministry. Give the church power in the name of the Lord, power in government, power in society, power in other organizations, power and influence in all the systems of the world. We thank you for it, God. Transform the church, oh God, that it's factions and divisions and isms and extreme relationships and going along mindset are destroyed and annihilated, but that your people will work together together, walk hand in hand. They will know that we are Christians for our love for one another. Oh God, we thank you for it right now. Transform the church, oh God, to continue to become the prophetic voice indebted to no one but you. That when you call your people to speak prophetically, I'm not talking just prophets, God, but I'm praying those that you will allow the spirit of prophecy to rest upon them. Don't allow them to cower down. Give them wisdom to speak with thus says the Lord. And we thank you for it, God. Father, endow the church, every branch with the Holy Spirit, those that resist the Holy Spirit, endow them with it. Allow them to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Period, that they may experience it, not just speaking in tongues, but they may experience the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, kindness, long suffering, self-control, peace. God, let the church experience, hallelujah, the power of the Holy Ghost, that the gifts of God will flow easily, word of knowledge, word of instruction, leadership and administration. Oh God, let the church be transformed on so that it looks more and more like Jesus in every way. And God, where we fall short, cut it away. Where we fall short, help us to make adjustments. Where we fall short, help us to change willingly in the name of the Lord. Lord, transform the church. Hallelujah. For if you change us, we can be what you want us to be. We can do what you want us to do. We can do it anywhere and any time. But God, we need you, hallelujah, to transform the ecclesia, transform the called out ones, transform the church. So much so, hallelujah, that the world and society sees a distinction between the church. We thank you for it right now, oh God. And we give you thanks, we give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you honor for this opportunity to pray. Lord, transform the church. We ask it in Jesus' name, amen. I pray that you have been blessed with our time of praying and the comments that you have placed in the comment session. I can't wait to go by and read it and come into agreement with you as it relates to what you were praying. You know, the Bible tells us if we touch and agree, a thing can be established if it is the will of God. Bible tells us that the prayers of the righteous avails much. We're not righteous because we do right things. We are righteous because of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for partnering with me. To those of you that I serve as your chaplain or have in the past, both military and civilian, God bless you. God bless all the Facebook friends and those who I know in a very personal way. Thank God for spiritual children that are on here as well. If you're viewing this and the replay, thank God for you. Join me in praying. Listen, as I prepare to bring this to a close, I will be sharing with you how ministry moments will be functioning in the new year. With everything, there comes a change, transformation, a shift. And so we'll be doing things a little bit different. And so I'm going to post a whole different video providing that information. And I pray that you will continue to partner as we seek to be a blessing to whomever the Lord allows us to connect with. May you have a wonderful evening. And we believe that God has heard our prayer. This is Dr. Kevin Jackson's Ministry Moments and a time 
of intercession. God bless you.